All right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 921 on a Test Taker Techniques Tuesday. It's so good to be here in front of all of you on this beautiful June evening. It feels like it's getting to be summer out here in California. We're not quite in that hot heat, but oh man, it's getting there. I can, I can feel it. I can feel the furnace heating up, but uh, it ain't nothing like it was last week in Utah. Oh my God, it was, it's hot there. It's already, it's already way too hot. I know there are other parts of this country. It's, uh, it's got some crazy weather. It's got all kinds of things going. I know there's a lot of people who are uh, leaving on vacations. They got conventions and all this stuff is happening. But you could have been anywhere else, but you decided to be here. And that, my friends, is why we're so happy to have you. My name is Andy. I'm the guy that runs Kona Butterflies. I run all the stuff in the background, but you're not here for me. You're here for Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, Series 65, and her Series 7. And that just makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know. So that way you, too, can get a pass notice. I don't know how I get through these things with all the sign language on the side. But I'm just saying, uh, it's good to have you all. All right, let's just go. Okay. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do anymore. I uh, I, I finished my coffee before the brew, so. So we're really amped up. So we're about five espressos in. It's going to be a good one, guys. It is. It's going to be fire. It is going to be fire. Um, I know yesterday I gave uh, my, gave my one of my pep talks, but uh, guys, I'm just saying, it, there's still... Still, I got people, you know, telling me about, you know, they're like, hey, you know, I'm like, no, I don't know. You guys got you got to you got to just focus on it, man. You got to just make it happen. You really do. Um, There's no easy way around it. So but there is a better way to do it. And that's with us, Kona Butterflies. If you go ahead and scan the QR code, hit the links. We got a 21 day plan. We got a 30 day plan for the 65. We got stuff going on for the seven guys. We got stuff that fits into your program. And as uh, we've said, and uh, I, I thank all the people who are on Facebook and Instagram and uh, when people ask, you know, where did you get your licenses at? I appreciate the fact that they mentioned Kona Butterflies. And they also say it's not just one con. It's just not uh, content. You know, they give you a whole system on how to pass all your exams. It's a whole system on how to pass all your exams. It's a whole system on how to pass all your exams. We don't teach. even ones we don't even teach. I have people signed up that are not even taking any of the series six exams. They're strictly just there to learn the strategies on how to do the math, the mastering of testing, the uh, master, the test exam stuff. You know, they just want to do that exam prep stuff. They just want to get the mastery on the exams. You know, they just want to get that part of it. They want to do what we're going to do tonight for free, but they want the paid part. They want the, the deeper knowledge of it. So they're just signing up just to learn that stuff. Guys, it will help you with all your exams, all your exams. Content is not enough. No Q bank is perfect. No Q bank is going to ask the right questions. And there is no formula. You pass the practice exam for FINRA, and then you're going to go ahead and pass the real exam. That is false. That's false. The other false thing is do not keep taking masteries and practice exams until you pass them. It's the exact same questions asked over and over again. All you're doing is remembering the questions subconsciously and then answering them. You're not learning from them at all. So if you want a better way to do it, if you need to have a better way of going through it, if you guys sign up with us, check it out. We got not only that, but we got our own, uh, we got our own study guides for the SIE, the six and 63. We got the Kona community, the discord, a place to go ahead and study with all the other cool people. And we got the Instagram, we got the telegram. Check it out. 951-290-3077. That is the phone number. Any other phone numbers connected to us does not work. All right. We got a fun fact, a fun filled day tomorrow. It is SIE. We got 63. We got the 26. Be there or be square. Check your emails for that earlier, that reminder. It has all the stuff in there for you guys to get connected. Also, if you're in the academy, Guys that had, a, you know, where you can go ahead and jump ahead. Guys, in the reminders that I do, we actually have stuff so you can work ahead. You know what's going to happen ahead of time. So that way you can get that thing done. So you can go ahead and look it up in the book before Brandy goes over it. You can even maybe take a quiz before Brandy goes over it. You can look at it and get tables that, you know, so that way you're already prepared before you come to class. Check out those reminders. They're just not fluff in your email box because trust me, I wouldn't do them if it were. There would be, I, I hate that. I yeah, really I do. 
I, I, I really don't like doing things that are a waste of time. We so, don't like it. No, like I know. Nobody likes it. No one likes to intrude on anybody's, uh, you know, inbox if it's not necessary. So check that out. Make sure to take note and get access. Get that. Just don't be square. I didn't get it. I was like, isn't that a, a rumba? Be there. Or I'm just kidding. Square. <laughs> is that a, is that a, is that a parallelogram? No. Plane. All right, let's go. I, I don't even know. Be there or don't be a trapezoid, according to Brandy. All right. Test taking <laughs> techniques, Tuesday strategies, exams, and quizzes. Guys, these are the, these are the, the, tips and tricks that we uh, do for free on Tuesdays, but we go over this on all the stuff we do on our Mondays and Friday sessions uh, for all exams. We call it testing uh, mastery, mastery exam, exam mastery. There you go. I know the words of it. I like, I make up the stuff myself and I still don't remember it. It's like, it's like, it's like writing a song and then you don't remember your own words you wrote. Anyways, I need a teleprompter. That's what I think I need or cue cards. <laughs> Maybe I should pay the kids to like hold cue cards while I'm just sitting here. I'm like, you need a summer job. Just do cue cards. Don't, All right. Don't pick the ADD. I will not do the ADD kids. They will drop them on the ground. They'll be on tomorrow's. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. We got rules to test taking techniques Tuesday because we don't want you just to like go through this and watch her do these exams. We uh, questions. We want you to do this in a way that you learn. First thing is first things first. You're not allowed to ask what exam did that question come from some of y'all are just so caught up in the difficulty of it or the easiness of it or maybe just the relevancy of it all maybe you're like i don't remember studying that guys stop 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 look at how she's answering these questions look how she goes to the answers first look how she keeps it sur surface level look how she looks at for the patterns the opposites the onlys the key words like we did last night Look how it's all linked together. And a lot of times, I don't know about tonight because Brandy catches me by surprise, but a lot of times you don't even know need to know any kind of content whatsoever and you can get them right. Yes, I said that. And it works on the real exam. It does work. So rule number two is how do you get good at anything? You got to practice. You got to practice. Do a 10 question flash quiz. If you are a person who keeps reading way too much, you keep overthinking stuff, you keep putting the wrong answer in there, even though you should have marked the right answer and you knew it was right, but you went ahead and corrected yourself so you can get it wrong. Guys, do a flash quiz, 10 questions, 10 minutes, one minute of thought, no overthinking, just going over it, just doing techniques, just the strategies. Might be a horrible score, might be the best score you ever had. But the best, best thing about it is you're learning a new skill set and that's what it's all about. So I, I want you guys to know how much I actually, um, skipped tonight to find these questions i pretty much skipped one question because it was too many words and i didn't want to deal with that i skipped three roman numeral questions that's it so what i'm trying to say guys is these questions were pretty much just in line of, just of in a line. quiz yes like you didn't cherry pick you no. just threw the ones out that don't really work with the flow and one that i just really didn't want to deal with right just too many words too many words <laughs> you know what if you really want to see brandy deal with it as it's done and you want to see her do a live quiz as it's presented using the techniques and all that no cherry picking whatsoever be on our monday members be on our friday members she does that yes, I do. Oh. see look and that's a lot of words right so the other one was even more words it's a lot of words yeah i got you all right, so it says a customer is shown a brochure outlining how the use of stop orders completely prevents a customer from losing money. Uh, uh, that's wrong. Uh, a recruitment advertises promises substantial training. Huh. Um, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? A graph showing penny stocks advance more. Okay, well, that's too much. It's too much. Too much. And then the second, I mean, the last one, uh, a mass, I, I saw this master's degree in, in astronomy and that's a benefit. Yeah. Cause if the stars tell you, ask Miss Cleo, yeah. if the stars, the stars will tell you. Right. Right. And
and so exactly and so guys honestly that's what i focused on i i literally i literally went through this thing and that's what i kind of focused on i did see yes that c definitely has a number in it and it says this which of the following scenarios would not violate general standards um regarding member firm communications and honestly guys substantial training that's what you want yeah like i would rather substantial training but the word substantial like brought my you know look i saw not violate completely prevents substantial um i, I didn't even read c i'm gonna be real i, I will point c. out the fact that if you look at answers first instead of looking at the question you could get this right because if you're looking at the answers you're like oh yeah that's all common sense right and if you don't see that then we just learned that common sense is just not that common no i'm just kidding you got to just stop looking so deep and trying to apply the content and just be like, okay, that's just plain knowledge. Exactly. All right. Bank depositors, broker dealer clients, options, speculators, or insurance purchasers. I really do need to put that other thing on the mic. I have, oh, sorry. I have no idea why I read it that way, but, oh, that does have a hyphen, huh? Um, I mean, we're just looking at people. Right? Like, I'm not really seeing, we're just looking at some sort of client. Ooh, A and B both start with B, broker, bank. But then I went like this and I saw um, deposit and then FDIC and I said that's okay. Deposit, depositor, sorry. You're very uh, like that into the mic. Let up. Uh, like, that's not good. I will try to keep my. I mean, I have the thing, the solution for that, and you could buh, along it away. Anyways, you guys see that? Deposit, depositors. Booyah. Like, it's not a big deal unless you have headphones on, then it, like, busts your eardrums. Uh, 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 there you go. They are not guaranteed we pay back any amount. They are guaranteed only payment. If preferred claims are met, their claims are guaranteed to be met only if they are paid first. Wow. Check it out. So I got only, and I see an only, guaranteed, but I got not guaranteed. I'm going with A because it's, do you know why? Because wow. in securities, nothing's guaranteed. That's all I know. I know that when it comes to investments and securities, nothing is guaranteed. You can't guarantee anything. There's no such thing as guaranteed. I guarantee it. That's why we don't guarantee pass notices, just to be honest with you. There's no guarantees. How do you guarantee something? Once a corporate liquidation proceeding in court is underway, common shareholders know that they are not guaranteed to pay the payback. That's why they put guarantees on hair dryers, because they know that they can just sell you a guarantee that you're never going to cash in on. It's true. I guarantee to make your hair dry. I guarantee you I'm not paying you that guarantee. <laughs> that's what they say yeah see that common is at the bottom of the totem pole it is that's where common people are um look number yeah oh, okay this one um this one i just went with the number <laughs> that's it i that the first answer that we had had a 75 percent I don't, I don't okay i don't know about all that but i know that some people are resonating with that kind of strategy because they're like you know what sometimes we just had enough of these quizzes we seriously have had enough of it like i'm up to my ears with it if i see a number i'm going for it you know what it happens so many like look obviously if we did that on the first one we would have been wrong but we would have been right here that's a 50 50 right there and if i'm bored there Ooh. I ate a bad burrito in the exam before the exam and I gotta get going through this exam. You know what I mean? Right. We're short on short on time. Mm -hmm. Self-inflicted short on time. There you go. Look at that. And I didn't even catch that. A, C, and D all say method. B does no method and it has a number. There you go. Mm. See? Like it. All right. Only um every third year. Opened only and and. We love a good and. So, 
you get nothing from this really no and, i mean and, you have two onlys i guess so that would be not trues i guess you could say you could probably say that but to keep track of every third year to keep, try to keep track of that this is just weird and even eric put that in the chat every is kind of another word weird way to say always yeah but i mean like it is but i'm like every third year like can you imagine the documentation that you would need to remember? It's a very every odd year? thing on every third year, by yeah, the way. It's very odd. So it's odd. And it is odd because it's three. Uh, we, you need to document all of your kids' Christmas presents and what they opened only on the every third year, though. <laughs> That's that, right? Um, and then D has and. And we like and. Just like the number thing. I, guys, look. Just like the number thing, there is no science behind it. It just seems very strangely coincidental that most of the time that works. And this thing with and is just like that. It's, it's again, it's not science, but for some reason, when there's one answer choice that has and in it, you almost can't ignore it. So here's the question. Privacy notices, whatever. That's the answer anyway. There you go. How many times in your email, especially around January, do you get our privacy policy has been, uh, updated? Uh, been updated every year? It's a new update. Anything that you I'm like, dude, mind. was last year? Was it less private? <laughs> I think it's just their way of saying this is my new privacy policy. Because I have to give it to you annually. Get it? Yeah. Right. Exercise the contract. Exercise the demon. Has a right wants the contract to expire or pays the premium, right? So I'm looking at this and and um, it has been put on the chat, right? So it says exercises, has a right, wants the contract to expire, pays the premium, right? So I'm going to look, okay? And, and the question does say um, to the buy side accept. Now look, I don't know much about obviously like this one is for sure, like if I'm buy, I pay, right? But look at C. First of all, it's the longest one on there. But also, if you buy something, do you want that thing that you bought to expire? No. Like, I don't care if it's a contract. Some of y'all hold on to yogurt waits past this expiration yeah, date. Just say milk. Do you know how much I paid for that yogurt? Dude, you don't want anything especially, that you bought to expire. Especially if you got kids, right? You'd be like, oh, you can, you can, you can, you can eat that still. That's right. only a week past the expiration right. date. If <laughs> smell it, not me. Smell if it. I bought it, it's still good. I Look, don't. smell it. Smell it. It's fine. I know Andy will say spell it. I'm like, my smeller doesn't work. I want it to expire. I don't want expired smell. It's fine. One week past, you're good. Just knock the fur off the top. That's oh, fine. Stop it. <laughs> but you guys see what I'm saying? Like, that's I, <laughs> look, that's how I approach this. Can you approach this question with content? Of course you can. But if I was looking at this because options, <laughs> because options suck, and I don't like looking at them, I'm just going with that. Just a PSA. Whenever any friend ever asks you to smell it, taste it, touch it. Don't. Probably shouldn't. No. <laughs> just saying. That was it. That was also. Come here, smell this. No, <laughs> definitely not now. No. Never. Anyways. Side of just pour it out. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I'm glad you were here. That was fun, right? That was quick. That was fast. That was painless. But more importantly, we need you to go do a quiz. You need to stay consistent. You got to make sure that you need to apply this. You got to add this to your arsenal. You got to make sure that you go in there with more than just your third grade knowledge on how to take a multiple choice exam. You got to level up. You got to learn new ways. You got to learn new things. So that way you too can get to that pass notice. It'll help guys. Even if these work only 10% of the time, that's 10% more ad added. That's 10% added to your normal scores. Think about that. If that's you're scoring 50, you know, you're scoring sixties, right? That's 70. That's a pass. That's only 10%. Like I said, I don't guarantee that these work every 100% of the time, but you know what? It's a great way to look at your answers and your questions and helping you get to a 50-50 shot. And sometimes that's all we ever need is a 50-50 shot. And there you go. That's a lot better, 
right? The odds are a lot better in you getting a pass notice if you have that shot. Yep. So make sure to get that thing done. We got stuff for all the members tomorrow. We got free content Wednesday tomorrow. What are we learning tomorrow? Do you know? Yes. What is it? Are you sharing? Yes. Oh, it's um about the different types of <laughs> Um, it's authorized, issued, outstanding, and treasury stock and market cap. All right, everybody. Be here. Same bad time, same bad channel. Brandy's going to go over all that great stuff. Can't wait to see you here for the studying brew tomorrow night. Until then, stay safe out there. Watch your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you guys so much. for Super appreciate you guys. Practice the Kona catchphrase and the test-taking techniques in your next quizzes. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.